Aries, welcome to the second half of November love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So I'm actually redoing your reading. I already did it today. I even uploaded it and I was like, I feel like I need to redo it. And you guys know me. I almost never do that. Almost never do that. So Aries, I got back into your energy and decided to go for it again. There just was a, there was an interruption. There was a big interruption. I actually was shuffling the cards and one of the cards flew over into my cat's water. It was the whole thing. I just, I don't know. I just don't feel awesome about it. So anyway, Aries, so let's talk about the medita the second meditative session I did. I'll also mention some of the things that came through in the first session that I did for you guys, okay? In case there's messages in there for some of you that might not be getting them on the second go, okay? So Aries, I saw, the first thing I saw was the beaver. They show me a beaver. So I feel like you're working really hard. It's very Taurian, Taurian energy, actually, Aries. Uh, so you could be a cusper. You could be dealing with the Taurus. You could have that in your chart. I just feel like you're really harnessing the energy of the full moon to your advantage, okay? Um, that's like the that's actually the best thing to do during this full moon is to create, keep creating, creep, creep, creep. Creep, creep. Are you creeping? Are you creeping, Aries? Or someone creeping on you? Um, is to keep building, keep working. Uh, you know, just keep going for the things we want. Keep going for things that make us happy, make our souls happy. And Aries, you're doing this. You're doing this. You're doing this. But I feel like you are going to be having a tower moment. I did see the tower card. They showed that to me when I was meditating. Again, Scorpio energy as well, um, which is the one seven of Taurus. Which, like I said, you're harnessing a lot of the energy right now, or someone you're connecting to is okay. Now with this tower moment, I don't want you to get like nervous. Okay, <laughs> I don't want you to get nervous. Um, I actually feel like it's really positive. It's very indicative of the energy of the full moon in Taurus where, you know, opportunities are coming in, but they need space to come in. And I feel like with this tower moment, there is an opportunity being presented to you, Aries. And I feel like it's something you really want. You really, really want, but there's a sense of hesitation. It's like, it almost comes with a catch is kind of how it feels. It's like, I feel like for a lot of you, it would elevate you in your careers. For so for a lot of you, it is a career opportunity. Uh, <clears throat> would elevate you in your careers. For some of you, it's a romantic opportunity. And it's almost just like, for those where it's romantic, you could be busy at work single and there's a romantic, a romantic opportunity comes in. Um, others, you could be in a relationship and then a relationship opportunity comes in. Sorry, this curl was really bothering me. I was trying to break it up <laughs> just to get it out of my face. Um, so take that as it resonates. But either way, Aries, you're looking at it and you're like, I don't know. <laughs> you're like, I don't know. Um, I also feel, Aries, that because you've been so focused on whatever it is you've been working on and building, there's almost been like, um, you've kind of been ignoring some parts of yourself or parts of your life. It's almost like an eclipsing of things in your life or parts of yourself. And the tower moment, that's kind of the reason the tower moment's coming in, I feel. This tower moment's coming in not only to present an opportunity for you, but to force you to look at the things you've been ignoring in your life or parts of the, yourself that you've been ignoring or kind of putting on the back burner or not wanting to look at. For some of you, this is wounding and um, <clears throat> some triggers you haven't been wanting to address, Aries. Um, for some of you, I... I do feel like it's about authoritative issues, okay? Um, we've all been there. We've all got our own thing, Aries. Um, yeah, for some of you, I do think it's author authoritative issues where it's just like, you don't really want to answer to anybody. You don't want to answer to anybody. You you know, you don't really want to deal with other people who are very dominant. Uh, and I feel like that's actually what's coming in with the opportunity. Like someone who's a, a key part of this opportunity or who may even be presenting it to you is very dominant or very alpha and you're having trouble with that. Like, it's almost an energy of like, you need to submit mm, if you want this opportunity. And you're also at that at that point where you're like, well, I put so much effort into this thing. And if and yeah, I've, I've been wanting that. That's something I've been wanting. But like, I don't want to submit to that person. I don't want to have to answer to that person. You know, for some of you, this is just career. It could just be that you know, if you built up your own business, it could be that you need to merge, you're being um, offered to merge with someone and then you kind of have to put someone on your level or even worse than that. Like in your eyes, it's not a good thing. Like this is like the catch 22 of it or they want to be like president and then you're going to be like VP. It's like, e, I don't want to answer to you. You know, it's that kind of energy. For those who are semantic, I actually feel like someone wants you to not be so independent. Um, almost like they want to provide for you, be like the provider, um, almost in a way for you to be dependent on them. And Aries, I know you're having trouble with that. Okay. So that's something for some of you. <clears throat> I was getting other messages on the second go for this meditative session. Um, I heard I must go back. 
I heard I must go back. I was like, oh, this is interesting. Um, it's almost, and it feels very like noble, to be honest with you. It feels very noble, feels very honorable. I feel like you're almost going back to a person or back to a situation to like release them in a way. Um, yeah, it's almost like an energy of like needing to release. So it's, you know, it's closure, it's closure. You know, maybe Aries has been brought to your attention that someone hasn't gotten over something or, and again, it could be my source. Somebody could feel like someone could be feeling this way about you, you know, like, hey, like I really did wrong by that person or that really didn't go right or what, or what have you, you know, maybe I should talk to them and like just release that karma and just release them from that situation and just, so they, they can move on. You could be feeling this way about someone or someone could be feeling this way about you, okay? I know a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, Aries, but let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle here. <clears throat> this is one messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. Please bring forward any messages. Sorry, I keep trying to remember not to bang it on the table because I know it shakes the camera. See, like now that I'm looking at the camera, I'm like all gentle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all gentle and shit. I am trying to test out my new setup, guys. I just need to get a good angle. I just need to get a good angle, and I think I can pull it off. Oh, this is gentle. Please bring forward any messages of, damn it, of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aries... Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. Oh, wow. 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 The Tower. Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because it's Mars, right? And then we have the Ace of Swords. Whatever Tower moment this is going to be that you're experiencing, Aries, like I said, for a lot of you, it's an opportunity that you want, but you're having a lot of reservations taking it, and it's forcing you to look at some of your own authoritative issues, or issues with authority, issues around control, or having to be number one, or alpha, or boss, okay? Um, for some, this is definitely indicative of a spiritual awakening as well. Definitely indicative of a spiritual awakening. It's like truth is making a Tower crash down. Now we have Temperance in Reverse. Sorry, my allergy's been so bad lately. Temperance in Reverse, uh, Sagittarian Energy. Ooh, I'm getting impatience with that. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm getting major impatience with that. Whatever truth is coming with this tower, it's causing speed. It's causing momentum. It's causing momentum. It's almost like once the truth is out, it's like off to the races. Like, go, 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 go. Pleasing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. Pleasing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. Five of Wands in reverse, Leo energy. Uh, oh, why do I feel like you're throwing your weight around? Um... Yeah, it's almost like a race, a race for competition, like a race to be number one. Aries, you might have been chosen for an opportunity, whether you realize it or not, you might have been chosen for an opportunity here, okay? Um, which is why I think you really want to take it. But again, there's something about it. You're just like, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know if I go there. I don't know if I go there. It's forcing you to grow. The situation's forcing you to grow. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the last half of November. Oh, Eight of Swords in reverse. Interesting. Gemini energy. Releasing of fear. Why does it feel like a surprise also? Yeah, I like, I feel like you didn't see this coming. You might not have even known, that's so funny, Aries, you might not have known that you were in competition or if you were in competition and you were aware of it, I don't think you expected to be chosen. It's kind of how this feels like, yeah, I don't think it, you expected to be chosen. And then it's like, when I'm like, once you get the news, it's only a matter of time that you can take this opportunity. Like, that's kind of how it feels. Even if it's romantic, even if it's romantic, if it's romantic, you beat out other people, okay? And there's not a whole lot of time to say yes. <laughs> there's not a whole lot of time to say yes in response and it's kind of like ah like I said there's this reservation because I feel very like alpha on alpha very much like 
you need to submit to me, Aries, and you're having a hard time doing that. You're having a really hard time doing that. Okay, very interesting. Let's go ahead and get into your reading here. Uh, if you're new to tarot, I really recommend watching the video link below, How to Interpret Tarot Readings as a Viewer. There's a lot of guidelines that you should be aware of if you're new to tarot, and I just don't want to reserve my energy, and I don't want to like go into all the diatribe of it all. Even those who have been watching tarot do tend to forget, so even if you need a refresher, please check out that link below. If you have any questions, curiosities, confusions on how I'm doing the reading or how to interpret what I'm saying, that video will be very informative, okay? <clears throat> Any messages for Aries regarding love for the last half of November? Any mess? Oh, damn it. I'm being rough again. <laughs> Sorry. I tried really hard to remember. Okay. Any messages for Aries? Maybe. Can I do it without hitting the table? Maybe that's what I need to learn how to do. Oh, man. This is hard for me. <laughs> Any messages for Aries? regarding love for the last half of november i'm hearing february i've been getting that a lot i've been getting that a lot for people i might do a reading on that actually i might do a reading on that because it's been so prominent in the readings lately like february actually i need to look at february and see what planetary shifts are happening anyway back to you aries <laughs> any messages for aries regarding love for the last i just heard it again the last half of november Wow. Wow. Eight of Swords in reverse came out again. Very fast. Gemini energy and the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, again, you don't want to look at it. You don't want to look at it. Page of Pentacles is a reflection energy. It's looking upon something, analyzing something. You're kind of surprised by this. I'm just getting surprised with Eight of Swords in reverse. Like, that's honestly all I'm getting from that. You're surprised at this, but you don't want to look at it. Oh, Jesus. You don't want to look at it. And for those where um, it's a work opportunity and it's you, you kind of battling your issues with having to answer to people or authoritative issues, um, control issues as well. Or like, you know, also there's a little bit of like needing to ask for help, like being able to allow help to come in. There's a little bit of that. Like it's for some, it's also like strong man, strong woman syndrome, like always having to be resilient, taking care of yourself, a little bit of that energy. Anyway, Aries, take your pick in that spectrum of energy. Not wanting to look at that not really wanting to look at that part of yourself, not wanting to look at why you have those um, triggers or why, you know, where that comes from for you. Some of you might not realize that it's also been holding you back in career or relationships to some extent, especially with whatever it is you've been pouring your heart and soul into in that beaver energy. But either way, you don't really want to look at it. <laughs> you don't really want to look at it, but you want it at the same time. Very torn energy there. Any Oh, interesting. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy. Sorry, my cat's making noise. Yeah, Aries, I'm getting that someone really doesn't like your independence. They really don't like your independence. Um, again, if this is a romantic offer, they want you to be either very dependent on them or just not as independent as you are. So for example, like if you're a business owner or something of that extent, they don't like you working that much, okay? They don't They don't like the idea of like, wow, Aries is so independent that it's kind of like any little sign of trouble, they could run away. You know, it's that, it's that kind of energy of like, I need to have a little control over Aries. Oh, I don't like that. Mm, I don't like it. I feel like this opportunity is like the whole point of it is for you to look at yourself more so than the opportunity itself. Does that make sense? I feel like that's the true reason the tower came in. It's coming in with a nice little bonus gift on the end of like, hey, here's an opportunity if you want it, if you want it. But I feel like the whole point of it is to force you to look at these issues of not being able to rely on people, ask people for help, um, uh, being like, you know, having issues with authority figures, having some control issues, not being able to answer or submit to anybody, okay? Uh, I really feel like that's the whole point of this tower moment that you're gonna be experiencing, but someone really doesn't like your independence. They really don't like it. They don't want you to be independent. They don't want you to be this independent. Oh, that's too many, Spirit. Any messages for Aries regarding love for the last half of November? Keep in mind this can be vice versa. Any messages for Aries regarding love for the last half of November? I just saw a word and it went so fast. Is that Paris? 
it was like I saw P A R and like the rest of it just blurred out. P A R. And I know there was an S in there. I know there was an S in there. I'm like, what words are those? Pa Paris came to mind. Parasite? Parasite? I don't like that. I don't like that that's come out. Any messages for Aries regarding love for the last half of November? Oh, wow. Seven of Swords in reverse. Aquarian energy. There's been an old crime here. There's been an old crime here. I, I really think that they just look at your independence as like as a threat. I really just feel that way, honestly. They just look at your independence as a threat, and it's like, yeah, this person needs to be not so goddamn independent. Um, I really don't like that energy. I really, really don't like that energy. But there is an old uh, crime here. There is an old crime, and I think this might be the energy I was picking up on of, like, I need to go back. So this might be the other person, Aries, where it's like, I need to go back. I need to address this, that, or the other. Like, I need to release the karma. I need to release the situation. I need to release the truth. I need to release the truth. Wow. Like I said, I feel like it's the other person, but Aries, it can be vice versa. Any messages for Aries regarding love for the last half of November? Any messages for Aries regarding love for the last half of November? They won't stop showing me February. Wow. <laughs> Six of Wands, Jupiter, Leo energy, and the Magician in reverse. Mercurial energy. Oh, excuse me. Uh, which is Virgo, Gemini. <laughs> I got nasally again. Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine masculine energy. Attention. Ooh, attention. I feel like attention is being brought to uh, some manipulation here. Manipulate Manipulative ways, controlling ways, whether that's just looking at yourself and your authoritative issues or whatever this person did. Whatever this person did to you. Clyde, sorry, or whatever per this person uh, did to you or whatever happened between you and this person and bringing attention to that, bringing attention to that, I think to bring justice to that. I just feel like a big truth bomb, like a releasing of truth, which is releasing a tower moment and a possible opportunity. Yeah, and a possible opportunity, but it's just going to it's I really feel like the whole point is just to make you look at yourself. I really feel that way just to aid some growth and healing in your life. Overall energy, we do have temperance. Ah. Sag energy a lot of people have been getting this this is my divine fix it angel my um divine intervention card also guardian angel but it is a healing energy it is a healing energy and i feel like again that's the whole point Ugh. that's the whole point of this aries to force you to look at yourself and you will have an opportunity along with that to either sorry he's so distracted me right now there will be an opportunity with that whether you take it or not i feel like most of you won't take it I don't think, yeah, I feel like most of you won't take the opportunity. Clyde? He'll start again. Um, I feel like most of you won't take this opportunity, um, especially if it's with this person where there was a wrongdoing of some kind, where they feel like they have to come back and release you. It is out of like, it is out of a, a want to release the karma. It is out of a want to have closure with you, Aries, but at the same time, they just really don't like your independence. I think that might have been whatever sparked this thing in the past, okay? Yeah, I feel like that might have been whatever sparked this thing in the past. Um, they were very threatened by you. Very, very threatened by you. And I think a part of them still is. I think a part of them still is, which is why it's kind of like, eee, do I want that opportunity? I don't think so. But we'll see. We'll see. Let's go ahead and get into this a little bit more. Oh, good Lord. Okay. Eight of Swords in reverse with the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Let's look at um, the Page of Pentacles in reverse and see again, like, why you're not wanting to look at it. Um, ugh. <laughs> sorry this is making me crazy well look we'll do the uh haunted uh house deck so i have a page of pentacles in reverse so i have a page of pentacles in reverse for aries regarding love for the last half of november yeah see then it just goes away the weirdest thing <clears throat> so i have the page of pentacles in reverse for aries regarding love for the last half of november the page of pentacles in reverse for aries regarding love for the last half of november oh lordy ah. so i have the page of pentacles in reverse for the last half of november for aries regarding love oh 
Ugh. I feel like something's even being put in your hand. Something's being put in your hand. This person might be giving you a gift as well, like as another way to like apologize. Seven. <laughs> It's like I couldn't see it. Seven of Wands, Leo energy. Yeah, you're very you're very defensive. You're very kind of put off by this person approaching you and put off by the idea. I'm also getting the idea. Yeah, I feel a little bit of a power struggle that you're going to be having with this person, Aries. A little bit of a power struggle. Um, you like your independence. You have your independence for a reason is also what I just heard. You're independent for a reason. Uh, and it, it feels like it's just very important to you. It feels like it's very important to you. You're going to throw your weight around with them a little bit. I can feel it. You're going to throw your weight around with them a little bit. And they're going to push back. Aries, don't shoot me. <laughs> I do feel like one of you is a little more dominant than the other. They might be a little bit more dominant than you. Okay. So I have a page of pentacles in reverse. I'm not saying they're going to win. I'm just, I could feel that there's a, a difference. So I have a page of pentacles in reverse for Aries. Regarding love for the last half of November. So I have a page of pentacles in reverse for Aries. They do respect your independence. They just don't like it. They can respect it, but they just don't like it. Not in a romantic situation and definitely not in business. They have to be boss. They have to be boss to function. So I have a page of pentacles in reverse for Aries regarding love for the last half of November. Uh the magician uh-huh mercurial energy so virgo gemini could also be aquarius scorpio for visa reader divide masculine energy you're dealing with the alchemist you're dealing with someone who can manifest you're dealing with someone who can create which is also someone who's very capable of manipulation i think that might have been something that happened in the past i think that would have been what you butted heads over they might have tried to control you in the past aries um or do some kind of manipulation with you and they couldn't get away with it that's what, how it kind of feels like they couldn't get away with it um and I feel like some like really horrible things were said or they just like dipped out on you in a really cold way. I'm getting cold in a really cold way. Okay. But yeah, you're very defensive here. So I have a page of pentacles in reverse. And they might be coming. I feel like they're coming in areas like, hey, I can help you. We can help each other. Let's put the past behind us. But if we do this, this is what I need from you. And you're like, hmm. You need me to what? <laughs> like, that's good. You, you need me to what? I need you to submit. I need you to answer to me. I need you to be submissive. I need you to, to be less alpha. And you might just be like, excuse me? Like, like I feel like you like can't, can't even fathom how to do that. So I have a page of pentacles in reverse. So I have a page of pentacles in reverse. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh, that's so funny. Some of the cards are out here now. Okay. So let's see what we have. Seven of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy. Uh, not surprising this came out. Four of Pentacles. What did I say? Power plays. Power struggle. <laughs> Capricorn energy. Uh, now we have... Let's see. Sorry, these are new cards for me. Knight of Pentacles. Virgo energy could also be... Um, earth or a uh, fire here with the nine of wands in reverse these came out together sag energy and then wow and then the ace of pentacles what did i say might even put something in your hand like i said for some they're coming with something in hand here okay with the seven of pentacles no, seven of pentacles excuse me seven of cups in reverse and the four of pentacles it's become very clear on what's happened in the past and that it was all about power it was all about control someone just couldn't let go Someone just couldn't let go of control, and it might have been both of you, to be honest. It might have been both of you had issues with this. Um, with the Knight of Pentacles, a Knight of Wands in reverse, this is them making that offer. Them making that offer to you. They're putting their defenses down. That's hard for this person, Aries. I can feel it. That's really hard for this person. They're putting their defenses down. They're gonna try to they're gonna try really hard to let go of what's already happened in the past. There's a sense of like you need each other. I'm not saying you do, but there's a sense of that. Like you two could really do a lot together in business or you could really work well romantically. It's feeling very power couple, but even within a power couple, someone's a little more dominant, right? But some, and it's, hmm, do, well, okay, let me actually, let me think about that. Do I really feel that way? 
having a conversation with myself. No, I don't feel that way. I feel like with power couples, like true blue power couples who work amazingly well together, they're very complimentary. They're very complimentary. So even if they're both alpha and they can, even though they're both alpha, one is dominant in certain aspects while the other one's not. You understand what I'm saying? It's a compliment. Not necessarily one has to submit all the time. And Aries, if you want this opportunity, like I said, for a lot of you, you're really turned off. I can feel it. You're really turned off. Uh, but for those who want this opportunity, you might want to consider that. Like, are there things I don't have to be dominant in that uh, they can be? Or are there things that they can be submissive in? Like, that might be a point to bring up here, okay? Because they're bringing in an offer. They're bringing it in. Overall energy, we have, yeah, Herbert. Herbert in reverse, Virgo energy. So like I said, someone's been doing a lot of thinking and it's definitely been this person. And it's an energy like, I need to go back. I need to go back. I need to talk. We need to like address this. We need to address this. I think the truth that this person might have come into or realized is that you two make a great team. You two make a great team. And you could have a lot more growth together than apart. And they are already are someone who can create. They're already someone who can manifest a lot for themselves. But it's like, I just get like a combined energy of like combined, you two can do a lot. You two can do a lot. Oh my God. And look at that. Ace of Wands. <laughs> Underneath that, what did I say? An opportunity. Yeah, you got two opportunity cards. Ace of Pentacles and Ace of Wands. They really want this. They really want this because they know it can work. Underneath that, we do have Knight of Wands. Yeah, they're coming, Aries. They're coming. So let's look at what they did though. Okay, <laughs> let's look at the Seven of Swords in reverse. Again, I feel like it was your the threat of how independent and alpha you are that really kind of ruffled their feathers. Um, I'm like, God, I don't know what deck I want to use. I'm like really struggling here. Um, we'll do Honest Truth. So I have the Seven of Swords in reverse. For Aries, regarding love for the last half of November. Seven of Swords in reverse for Aries. Regarding love for the last half of November. So I have a Seven of Swords in reverse. For Aries. Regarding love for the last half of November. I think you're, you're shocked to be talking to this person again. Aries. I think honestly. Some of you definitely work together. This is like a former boss or coworker of yours. Either way, it's like for a lot of you, this is a business opportunity. Others, it's a romantic opportunity. For a slim few, it might even be both. Okay, it might even be both. So I have a Seven of Swords in reverse for Aries. Regarding love for the last half of November. But like I said, I feel like for I feel like the whole point is for you to address your own shit. I feel like that's the whole point of this anyway. And to get some closure with this person. Tell me about Seven of Swords in reverse, because you're so turned off, I doubt you're going to take this opportunity. Tell me about Seven of Swords in reverse for Aries. Regarding love for the last half of November. Yeah, Three of Swords. God, I just heard Gemini. That's funny, because this is Libra. Libra energy. So Seven of Swords in reverse with the Three of Swords. Whatever this person did or whatever happened between the two of you, it was painful. I'm hearing abrupt as well. It was painful and it was abrupt. Painful and abrupt. Oh, Lord. Ten of Swords in reverse. Well, there's Gemini. <laughs> you have all the air signs here now. Guys, this looks pretty fucking terrible. Three of Swords, Ten of Swords in reverse, Seven of Swords in reverse. With the Eight of Swords already on the board. What the hell did not happen here? Like, seriously, Aries, what didn't happen here? Wow. Betray betrayal, sabotage, pain is like the sugar coating it. Talk about Seven of Swords in reverse. Talk about Seven of Swords in reverse for Aries regarding love for the last half of November. Talk about the Seven of Swords in reverse. Talk about the Seven of Swords in reverse. I feel like there was a broken promise here or someone reneged on their word. Oh, which, you know, is not good. That shit is never good, Aries. Um, and I don't need to tell that to an Aries. I think you guys actually embody that quite well, that your bond is your word. Um, 
Because if you're if you're if your bond isn't your word, if your word is just frivolous, then you ain't shit. Like everything you say is like can be totally invalid. I'm talking about seven of swords in reverse. Hope I sound just as serious and intelligent with all <laughs> as I'm like so like ugh. So I have a seven of swords in reverse for Aries regarding love for the last half of November. I'm starting to wonder if like my nasal chakra is like opening or something. Oh, I've taken so many itch allergy medicine. So I have a seven of swords in reverse. Wow. Four of cups in reverse, can't serene energy and judgment in reverse, fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. There was betrayal. There was pain, heartbreak, sabotage, rejection, and a total kill. A total kill is what I'm getting. A total kill of a situation between the two of you. And I feel like it was at their hand. Overall energy, King of Pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy could also be earth or air. I feel like this is definitely their energy. Taurus, I just called you Taurus. Jesus, buddy. Aries. I feel like this is totally their energy. Um, yeah, someone who's very controlling. Someone who's very, very, very controlling. King of Pentacles in reverse has some control issues, okay? Um, I'm getting a violent streak, but I don't think it's physical violence. I just think it's like abrasive energy, abrasive action. I don't think it's actual violence. Like high intensity. There you go. That's the best way to say it. I'm getting high intensity with this. I'm also getting ADD. That's funny. Oh, ADHD. Sorry. AD, ADD, ADHD. I'm getting some of that in there with this person. I'm just getting major control issues. Major control issues. Major, major power tripper. Major power tripper. You just threaten them. Aries, you simply threaten them. And look at the... F I'm sorry. No matter what form this is, they betrayed you. They sabotaged us. They, they broke your heart. They caused pain. Uh, they abandoned you. They rejected you. What else could I say? And they put a final kill on this is what I'm getting. It's just like final kill. Total kill, final kill. Those are the words that are coming right now to me. That's what happened. That's what happened. And they were power tripping when they did it. They were power tripping. Their ego took over. Their ego ran the show. And now they're coming to you trying to put the past away. Because at the end of the day, they know that together you two can make some amazing things. But Aries, you're looking at this person. It's like, you know, it's like, I think, I think they might even just flat out tell you, honestly, that like they're very threatened by your, no, no, they won't, they won't say it like that. But they might say, like, I need to be the boss or I need to have, like, final say or I need this or I need that. Or, you know, I want you to depend on me. I want to take care of you. I don't want you to be so independent. They're really threatened by that. They really don't like that. And Aries, I don't think you're going to sign up for that shit. Especially after what they did to you. Holy shit. Like, all of this? Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. No. I really don't see you signing up for that for a second go. So, like I said, I feel like this is just so you could heal. I feel like that's the only purpose of this. Get you to heal. Get you to look at your own issues around power and control. You know, for Aries and them, no shade, no shade. But when it comes to energy and the people we attract, we attract what's within us. All right. Um, and there might be some very, a lot of similarities in the way you two kind of exert your dominance or just the fact that you're both dominant. And that might have been what kind of attracted you initially, like what was similar about you. And they didn't realize how threatened they were until they got close to you or became involved with you in business or in love or what have you. Okay. Ah, all right. <laughs> now let's look at the six of wands of the magician in reverse. This is drawing attention to the ma manipulative ways. Okay. And again, I'm getting ego. I'm getting like total ego with this. Like, their ego ran the show. I'm telling you, Aries, their ego ran the show. You probably already know that. You probably don't need me to tell you that. All right. So let's look at the six of wands. Oh, where's my water? <laughs> Sorry, I'm dying. <clears throat> I know I'm so sexy right now. Okay. Uh, let's do gilded for this one. So I'm about six of wands. So I'm about six of wands for Aries. Regarding love. For the last half of November. Some of the six of wands for Aries. <clears throat> Regarding love. For the last half of November. I don't think they could have done anything else to you. Like I'm just I'm like the cards that came out. I'm just baffled. 
I'm baffled. Talk about the Six of Wands. For Aries, regarding love, for the last half of November. I think they thought, I think they felt real damn good about whatever they did to you, Aries. I'll be honest. I, I think they felt really damn good about it. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay. I think they felt really damn good about it. I think they felt really proud about it for a while. <laughs> for a while until they were like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh, maybe that's a bridge I shouldn't have burned. Like, oh, that could have been a really beneficial bridge. Oh, crap. I think I need this person. Uh, anyway. Talk about the Six of Wands. Page of Pentacles. Mm. Reflection. Taking a look at shit. Taking a look at what happened. Taking a look at the situation. Uh, like I said, it's, it's attention to these kinds of issues, right? <clears throat> While you are looking at this areas of the situation, it's worse you to look at your own stuff. They're looking at it too. It's like you both are looking at this same issue within yourselves. It's a little bit of mirroring going on here. Talking about Six of Wands. They also feel like this offer is going to make it right. They really feel like whatever this offer is, it'll really make it right or gift. For some, it's just a straight up gift. Oh. Mm. So for some, they, it's almost like they think they can buy you. Hmm. Mm. I don't know about that. Um, if that's what they think, it's not just going to be a check. It's going to be like a multitude of things that accumulate to in a way buying you off. Like for example, if this is romantic, it's almost like they're gonna offer you everything. Like I could put you in this kind of a house. I could get this for you. I could get that for you. You'll always be financially stable and secure. Um, you'll get up, you won't want for anything. You know what I mean? Like that kind of buying you. <clears throat> Talking about six of wands. <clears throat> for some of this person might come for money. Talking about six of wands. Wow. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy could also be earth or fire. This person's really stubborn. Really stubborn. And I feel like making this offer to you, you're going to hit the brakes. You're really going to hit the brakes here. Because you're just going to be like, I really need to think about this shit. But they're not going to give you a lot of time to think about it. They're not going to give you a lot of time to think about it. Yeah, I really feel like you're going to end up saying no. Talk about Six of Wands. This. yeah because see six of pentacles reverse there's so many pentacles here there's a lot of money wrapped up in this or this person has a lot of money on the brain all the time or they're just very money focused six of pentacles in reverse taurian energy a very imbalanced situation yeah you're looking at this like this is not going to turn out well for me if i do this like you're looking at it like it's unfair because you have to sacrifice your independence and i, I aries as someone who's fiercely independent myself i kind of agree with you okay <laughs> That's a big ass sacrifice. Talking about six of wands. But like I said, the whole purpose is just to heal. I really feel it. I really feel that way. I don't even feel like it's an offer that you are meant to take. I really feel like it's an offer coming in just to force you to look at your like your own stuff. Talking about six of wands. And this person as well. Wow, another freaking pentacle. Five of pentacles, Toriad energy. This person's been through a lot of shit since they did this. Wow, they got a they got a karmic beat down is actually what I'm getting. A karmic beat down. They could have lost a lot of money. For some they lost a lot of money. Others they just lost a lot of like um almost like clout. That's interesting. Lost a lot of clout. Like lost a lot of support. Lost a lot of support from people. It just feels like a very down and out, lonely, kind of isolated energy. They might even tell you this. They might even tell you, look, like since this happened, I've learned a lot about myself. I've been through a lot of shit. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Sorry, I don't feel bad for this person. <laughs> tell me about six of wands for Aries. Tell me about six of wands for Aries. Overall energy, Jesus. Yeah, page of wands in reverse. B bad news. Bad, my bad news card. Wow. <sighs> A lot of this energy is coming from the past of like that, that like empty egotistical one victory. Cause I feel like they're reiterating the story to you of what's happened since then. I feel like that's why it's a mix of like past energy and, and how, 
and how you're feeling about their about what they're saying to you like your response it's a mixture of both in here definitely a mixture of both they were so stubborn and so stuck in their egotistical ways feeling threatened by you and your independence and i feel like you also actually had more stability than them even though they didn't really want to believe that or see that most likely and they got a karmic beat down for what happened and how they handled it mm-hmm mm-hmm and now they're making this offer to you because they've had some self-reflection and this offer coming to you is making you kind of look at your stuff because it's you're, you are considering it. You're taking a little time to consider it. You're like, can I do that? Can I really give up my independence? Can I really allow this person to have this much control over me in my life? Um, can I answer to this person in business? Can I let them be the boss? Can I let someone else be the boss? And it's going to make you realize, wow, have I ever been able to let anyone be the boss? You see where I'm going with this? Yeah, it's just so you can look at yourself, Aries. I don't even feel like it's about the offer itself. It's just so that you look at your own stuff so that you can heal some of your own stuff. I really feel like that's all it is. So let's go ahead and pull some advice. <clears throat> Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Any advice for Aries? Regarding this spread, any advice for Aries regarding this spread? But this is definitely about a reconciliation possibility, but I don't think you're going to go for it. I really don't think you are. You're so freaking turned off. You're so turned off by this. Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Wow, Nightingale Spirit, love is all around. 41, excuse me, break it down to a five. This is indicative of very significant love interest being involved in this. Like I said, for a lot of you, this is romance here. A lot of you, this is romance. And all that green, I honestly, it just makes me think about money. This person's very freaking money focused. The amount of pentacles that are here is overwhelming. Actually, let's do a little tally really quick. How many cards are on the board? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, All right, so there's 25 cards on the board. How many of them are pentacle? 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, no, those are all swords. <laughs> 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So what is that? Wait, hold on. That's like why can't I do math right now that's almost half almost half of the cards are pentacles okay out of 25 that's a lot that's a freaking lot okay um I just feel like they're singing you a song like I really feel like they're just trying to like to just get you to take this opportunity like I said I do think you two can create a lot together I do think that's very possible I do think that and like maybe this is how they know how to love or show love and affection, but they got so much freaking ego, man. They've got so much freaking ego. And Aries, I feel like you have a whole lot of love for yourself. And I feel like you do have people in your life that love you and care about you. To be honest, I almost feel like you are getting a lot of attention right now and they don't like that. Also prompting them to come in. Yeah, I feel like you're getting a lot of air attention right now, Aries, especially because you're so focused on whatever it is you're building that you're getting attention for what it is you're building. And they really don't like that. It's just almost, it's almost a testament to your independence, which is exactly what triggered them in the first place. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Any advice? I'm so happy I redid this. <laughs> any advice for Aries? regarding this spread let's see grasshopper spirit take a leap of faith 30 break it out to a three this is like my full card which aries i do consider you to be the full also aquarius because the uranus card right um, about communication they're gonna convince you to jump come on aries jump 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 for me jump when i say jump like i'm sorry i could help but do that i could help but go there aries this person is a power tripper ego maniac don't do it I, I feel like there's a warning. Don't jump because someone tells you to. And I don't think you're going to. I don't think you're going to. You're so independent that it's like, I think the idea, even just the, the idea or the concept that you have to answer to somebody, especially someone who did this shit to you. No. <laughs> no. Any advice for Aries? Oh, I love it. I love it, Aries. Panther spirit, reclaim your power. Energy of 44, which is a master number here, okay? 
This is how fiercely independent you are. Look at that shit, Aries. Just look at that. Look at that intensity. You could even have Leo in your chart. I'm just getting a lot of fire with this. Um, there is no way you're going to relinquish control. It's so funny that we're all talking about power and control and all this. You're not relinquishing all of your control to this person. Again, this is to make you realize that maybe you do have some issues relinquishing control sometimes when it's healthy to, but you know to not do it to this person or with this person. So it's going to teach you some lessons and allow some healing to come in, but you know how powerful you are. And you're not going to let anybody take that from you just because they're threatened and want a little bit of what you got. Any advice for Aries? I also feel like when this person did this to you, you were very different. I feel like you were very different when this person did this to you. You might not have been as confident as you are now or as, um, as success. I'm getting actually success, straight up successful. As successful as you are now, they might assume you haven't changed. Aries that might be for some of you keep by this all can be vice versa any advice for Aries oh wow overall energy oh ha look who made an appearance the beaver so you have turkey spirit give with grace and gratitude 61 break it down to a seven and beaver spirit uh lay a solid foundation energy of six basically overall Aries the advice is to be very grateful for what you've already been working on <laughs> okay be very, very grateful for what you've already been working on. You've done it on your own and you might be getting, that's the other reason. This, okay, thank you, Spirit. That's the other reason this is coming in. To test your ability to consider relinquishing control because you're getting to the point, Aries, where if this is a business, some of you might need some helping hands soon, okay? Some of you might actually need a helping hand very, very soon. And this might be trying to get you comfortable and deal with those issues before it's too late to deal with those issues when you really need that assistance. So get comfy now with that idea, okay? I was just about to close it off too. So yeah, I like, so I forget where it cut off, but anyway, it's hard. It's hard to tell where it cuts off from recording it than when I actually watch it. But Aries, you put a lot of time and effort into what it is you've already built. Okay. And you're proud of it and you should be. But like I said, if this is a business and for a lot of you, I feel like it is, um, you're getting to that point where you're needing to be able to relinquish control a little bit, to be able to allow people in, to be able to delegate without being like this person, okay? And maybe for some of you that might be to hire people that know more information about things you don't know, like maybe you need an accountant and maybe that's just not what you do, right? Or maybe you need a website designer or manager or IT person and that's just not what you do. To trust that someone uh, might know more than you in something and that it's okay to answer to them in those arenas because you don't know that kind of stuff you know what I'm trying to get at but anyway yeah I feel like it's not about the opportunity that's coming it's about the lessons coming with it okay it's about the lessons coming with it and and basically the reflection reflection that you're going to do on yourself that comes with this opportunity and getting closure from dealing with this person and closure from this situation that this person fucking put you in however long ago that was because that looked really damn awful that looked really awful Aries um, for those where it's about relationship, I actually feel like it's also prepping you for something really awesome. You know, I was saying like a significant love interest here. Um, th for those where this is a romantic offer, this might be to prepare you for that. You're, for a lot of you, the, the thing you've been working on has just been you. Okay, you, your own home environment, um, your own hobbies. You've just been working. You've been working. You've been focused, really, really focused here. And it has given you a lot of gratitude. And again, it's like a sense of pride, healthy pride, not like, not like this person, um, but healthy pride here. Okay. Um, and with that, you know, sometimes, how do I say this? Sorry, I'm getting off track. I was, a lot of shit came in my head. And as you've been doing this, you've been raising your vibration. And maybe getting yourself more stable and maybe possibly ready for the idea of being in love again or the idea of being in a relationship again. But you can't be in a relationship until you can learn to deal with sometimes having to answer to your partner or maybe sometimes having to relinquish control to your partner in some situations. Um, even in a situation where someone is in a relationship, excuse me, where there's an alpha and a beta, even at the end of the day, the alpha submits sometimes. You know what I mean? There's a healthy balance there, like yin yang, right? There's a healthy balance there. It's for some of you, that's why this person is coming back so that you look at that and deal with that before a really healthy relationship can come in, okay? 
All right, Aries. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, don't forget to go on Patreon and Vimeo and, I, and Instagram as well. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Aries. Namaste.